Hi, my name is Neil. I'm from Alltrack. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Alltrack wiring harness on an Orchard Wright 454 machine. And to start, we're going to just flip it into off position, then we're going to open the hood. When you're installing, you want the 12 pin connector close to the tower. The purple is your RPM sensor, and that connects to your tack output of your coil here. You have a black wire, which is your ground, a red wire, which goes to battery. Your brown wire connects to the switch and it lets you know when your machine's in auto mode. And then you have two wires, which is the replacement temperature probe for the orchard right temperature. And what that tells is that tells the auto start to turn on or off. So we're gonna start by first unhooking the battery to make sure this isn't gonna start up when we're messing around with it. With a crescent wrench, just loosen the positive side and pull off the ring from the terminal. Be careful not to touch any other metal with it. To install the 454 harness, you want good access to the gauge panel. So we'll remove the air filter. Once it's removed, you want to put the 12 pin connector on the right hand side of the gauge panel. We'll start over here. So these two wires replace the temperature probe on your auto start. This is how we control the auto start by telling it a new temperature. We control it through the auto start, so the auto start retains all of its safety features and it retains all the warm up and cool down settings. So remove the temperature probe. You want to attach the blue wire to the black. And the orange wire to the red. Next, we have the switch. So we're gonna remove the switch with a crescent wrench. The center pillar on the bottom is your 12 volt power and the bottom left is going to be the auto side of the switch. So we're going to attach the red wire to the center pillar. And you want to make sure that no metal is touching any of the other pillars. Attach the brown wire to the left side. Again, make sure those are all together. Reinstall the switch. Next, we want to attach the black wire to engine ground. And you can pick any engine ground you want. 
Uh, just be sure you pick one that's clean so it gets good contact. And make sure it's tight. The final connection we need to make is for RPM. This purple wire, we're gonna wanna attach it to the tack output of your coil. Now that tack output is this white wire and what we need to do is we need to cut and splice into that wire. Normally, if I was going to leave this installation, I would cut this purple wire back so you get a cleaner installation. Twist these two together and then complete the crimp. Perfect. So that's the last connection we need to make to this engine. Now, I'm gonna take this 12 pin connector and attach it to the 12 pin connector of the ST100 station. Now you see the start temperature is 100, stop temperature 105, and it's black. So now, it's sending the auto start, the temperature to start. You're going to want to wait until you get an RPM reading, then you know that all of your connections are solid. So there we have 1268 uh, and the machine says run. We go back out, we'll see the machine is green, which means it's running. 